Sometimes my prayer life looks a lot like this blank piece of paper. Empty, but ready to be filled with words of praise for our God. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed that I don't know where or how to begin praying. But today, I learned that all you have to do is collapse into the arms of Jesus and let his word speak to you. In today's episode of In All Things, I'll be bringing over a guest who will show us how to put pen to paper and pray. Welcome to another episode of In All Things. Today, I'm joined by Ali Hoffman. According to her official website, she has a passion for Jesus, the Catholic Church, her family, Donuts, and Chipotle in that order. <laughs> she and I will be making prayer cards, so feel free to join us as well. Um, you just need you know, paper, and your favorite writing utensil. And feel free to also grab a cup of coffee, tea, and whatever beverage you would like um, for this episode. Um, so please uh, join me in welcoming Allie Hoffman. Hi, Allie, how are you doing? Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's actually pretty warm in here. I'm starting to regret this sweater, but <laughs> I'm regretting this sweatshirt right now because I was I'm always cold and I live in Texas, but I'm always cold and I'm yeah, I'm regretting this a little bit, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> What's the best way we can begin with our prayer card? So to start, I thought we could start simple and we'll just start with an, uh, a word. If there, Do you like do you do word of the year or anything? Oh, yes. Yes. I love that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you have a word of the year? Yes. Mine is daughter. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's so good. Okay. Do we're going to, we're going to, we're going to doodle daughter then. Okay. Okay. Wait, what's your word of the year? Yes. Um, my word, the word of the year is rest <laughs> oh, I love that. or, and it's also, um, I did, um, like a word generator kind of thing mm -hmm. and it was also, um, begin. So I have rest and then I have begin. Yes. And it's funny because I've been praying through a lot of stuff right now in my life of like where the Lord's leading me. And those words totally are what, like it's rest, I'm resting and then I'm going to begin. So yeah, so we'll start with daughter and then maybe we can go to those words. Beauty. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's see, I'm going to do. So wait, we're writing daughter first, right? Writing daughter, yes. Okay, got it, writing got it. daughter. Okay. Writing daw. And it's okay if you mess up because you can just scratch it out and then start anew. Exactly. Which is so good. Okay. Rest and begin again. I rest and begin. <laughs> exactly. Rest because you messed up and then begin again. And it's fine. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see yours. This is my daughter. It's backwards, Oh, beautiful. But... I did mine with pencil first because I got a little scared. Oh, yes. No, that's <laughs> perfect. I love so, that. But, that's what um, I tell everyone. Here yeah. Here it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Your penmanship is so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now something that I do to make it more fancy yes. is on every downstroke, so after you do it in pen, on every downstroke, so every time you went down with your pen, so if you retrace it, like for the D, when you start, every time your pen goes down, you're going to kind of do a second line, um, like right next to it to make it look like faux calligraphy. So God. it's fake calligraphy. Every downstroke. Oh, okay. So it's going to kind of make it look a little thicker, if you can yes. see that, on every yes. downstroke that you did. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Okay. Did you get it? Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, and now we're going to add florals. Are you ready? Okay, this is exciting. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's That's go. That's the spirit we're talking about. Yes. Okay, so... Um, usually how I decide, again, I'm all about asymmetry and I don't like things to look the same on either side. So when I look at my box, I kind of see what space is, um, like this might be weird, but like what's bigger, like if there's more room down on this corner, 
then up here, then I'm gonna draw my floral to kind of fill up this space right here, if that makes, does that make sense? Yes, yeah. Yeah. So um, I do a couple of different flowers. Really, you can do any florals that you want. And then something that I do to kind of add depth, which we can show in here, and I'll show you too, is I kind of add lines going up from the middle. So I'll start lines and it's very sporadic. And then at the top, I'll add lines going down so they almost touch. So it's almost like you're just adding a little depth and detail to that flower. So it doesn't just look like a two degree, you know, you just smacked it on there. Yeah. And it can just be whatever kind of lines. Starting like at the corner, so where the box and the flower meet in that little V, I'll do a simple line going up. Make sure it's on here. A simple line and then I'll just draw kind of, I'll show you like spriggy leaves. So I'll do an example on the side. It's kind of really simple, one of these guys. So I do one little line oh. and then I just do little circles, like little half squinched circles on that to kind of fill it out. Yes. And I'll kind of just put that wherever I see there's a space. Okay. So speaking of doodling, um, how did your um, Instagram platform start? Like, what was the inspiration behind the oodles of doodles? Um, you know, it started five years ago. Um, and 2015, it started as a New Year's resolution where, honestly, I just wanted to get better at hand lettering. <laughs> like, I knew ever since I was in middle school, like, I would try to make things just look pretty and um, I was studying abroad at Ro in Rome at the time and the community of people I was living with, I was like, I just, I really wanna start something like this. Like I've never done New Year's resolutions. I'm really bad at them. I never stick with them. And I wanted a platform um, to like kind of help me be accountable. So I just started posting on Instagram every day. I decided I'm gonna doodle something every single day and if I don't, I, I told myself, if I don't have 30 minutes a day to do something that I really love, then my life is way too full and I need to evaluate. <laughs> so honestly, like it just came of that. And then, so I started posting and after the year went by, I started posting stuff about Jesus cause I love Jesus and people started commenting and more people started sharing and following. Um, and that's when it kind of like, the Lord was just speaking. I was at a conference once and he was really speaking about this, that this is more than just me posting pretty pictures, but that it's a ministry, which I'm like, what? <laughs> like of all the things, what? Plot twist. Mind. Yeah, it's plot twist, huge. Did not expect that at all. Yeah. Um, and so, and now it's really just been, I, like I said, I'll take a stack of note cards with me and um, I'll just go into prayer and I'll just write down. It really helps me when the act of writing something out and taking the time to like doodle around it and add stuff to it. It helps me remember what I'm praying with, whether that's scripture or something that the Lord is speaking to my heart. And then I have all these note cards everywhere. And so I made in my room, I had and in my office at my job. I have like this wall full of these note cards where people can come and They'll, they'll take one if one speaks to them and then I'll just replace it with another one because I it's super easy for me now to do. So um, that just having these little things everywhere as reminders, like of daughter, of just having that somewhere prominent that I can remember who I am. And, and it's really blown up into making prayer cards and stickers. And I have a lot of um, just praying through a lot of big projects that are in the works. And something that was really cool um, a couple years ago, I was praying through like a rebranding of, maybe I wanna make this more serious, like a more serious business. And I was thinking of a new name and like all this stuff. And I, I had rebranding, everything ready to go. And um, I was praying one day and the Lord made it very clear. He was just said, there's a reason why it's named Oodles of Doodles because it's whimsy, it's silly, like it's joyful. It just, it, it, you don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah. And um, I feel really called to be kind of that persona in, in my life, in my prayer life. Like I just, there is time to be serious, but then there's also a time to um, like the joy of the Lord is my strength. And so I, I think that true joy and 
um, humor and uh, joyfulness, like all of that really speaks to it. So that's why I'm sticking with Oods of Dudes, the oodles of doodles. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love that. And you, you fill that gap so beautifully in the Instagram mm-hmm. world. Yeah, you're totally right that, you know, um, in evangelizing, in di- digital evangelization, there's yes. there's a lot of people out there who are doing beautiful stuff, and they, for sure their platforms are more on the serious side and like more reflective. So it's nice that it's like a refreshing, you know, corner of Instagram. Your your platform. Yeah, that's funny that you say corner because my um, the rebranding that I was gonna go to was gonna be called Little Corner Designs. Because no that's all I, want. I was like, I just wanted a little bit of corner, like welcome to my little corner of the world. I'm not trying to change the whole world. I'm just trying to whoever comes here. I just want to influence you for good. Kind no of thing. way. Um, and I think that's when people ask, how can I do what you do? Or how can I even enter into this world? I say, you just have to start. Like, yes. that's exact. Everyone is going to have a different platform and a different you know, characteristic or something that they need to reveal about God, that God is going to reveal through them. Um, and so to, to just do that joyfully. And so, I, yeah, I, it's a, it's, I try not to take myself too seriously because <laughs> I'm like life is short, you know, and there's times and places for things, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun, it's pretty fun. Instagram is fun. I think. Yeah, uh, for sure. And yeah, that's a that's a good mindset to to have when you use that app because sometimes mm-hmm. sometimes it's a very uh, you know you you kind of get in the comparing mindset. So oh, absolutely, especially when there's so many amazing artists out there that are doing incredible things. It's so easy to yeah be comparison like who was it that said comparison is the thief of joy oh, like that's exactly what it is yes and, yeah um i was i this one instagram artist she was talking about too that she really wants to cultivate a spirit of community over competition um so really teaching people she's like i don't want to have any secrets about my business like i want to i want to be very transparent and just help people Um, because I know this is not about me and that there is a business side and there's a practical side and there's things that you should do and shouldn't do. But at the same time, like I feel very called, yeah. in honing and fostering community and sharing gifts and teaching other people to do what I do. Cause who knows, maybe you're going to be the next doodle or Louisa, like you could start an it's a deuce account. You never know, you know, (laughs) I'll be under your tutelage. (laughs) Yes. I'm going to be like Oprah where I just have my own network. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's let that Absolutely. idea marinate for, for now. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll come back to it. We'll circle back to it. <laughs> okay. So let's see what is your, so I added a couple more little sprigs just kind of around where I see like kind of empty space. I love that. I, I love added that little bits and then that's kind of all I mean that's super simple that's all I would do with this card and I just have a daughter card now I love it mine is um I actually made another flower as well yes Uh, oh my gosh I love it (laughs) and here you were saying like you you do asymmetrical stuff (laughs) oh no that's the beauty, though, is that I do asymmetry because that's what I like. But other people are going to do more than that. And those flowers are beautiful. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah so, so do you want to do, do one, one more? more? Yes. Let's do one more. So what, okay. do, do we want to do a, a Bible verse or a phrase? Yeah, I was praying with um, earlier today. I was pl- praying with Jeremiah 29, 11. Oh, um, that. Yeah, you know, well, the plans you have for me. And so. For example, if I'm taking a Bible verse and I not gonna in, I'm not gonna doodle the entire Bible verse because that's really long. I'll take like different chunks or I'll kind of pra- paraphrase it into something that works well for me. So in this morning when I was praying, I was thinking like, you know the plans for me, yes. and so it was just a, some something that's super simple that's kind of more condensed. Yes. Um, for the whole verse. Oh. Why did you choose that? Um, what made you choose that Bible verse today? I'm, I've always been the type of person that kind of 
wants to know the entire plans before I take that first step. Because mm -hmm. I like safety. I like comfort. I like security. Like I think every human being does. <laughs> <laughs> and so the more that I meditate on this, like, Jesus, you know the plans for me. I don't have to worry. I don't have to. I can, I can um, prepare and I can set myself up and I can do all that, but really you're gonna be the one that's guiding me, so. When did you start to realize like, okay, wow, I'm, I'm actually affecting change and kind of when did you then switch gears into a more like prayerful, into more prayerful content? Although your, your content is kind of a mixture of prayerful and um, mm -hmm. lighthearted content. Still, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think it made the shift, like I made the shift in my mind probably a year and a half into it. Um, after the year had gone by, a lot of people were like, I hope you don't stop. And I said, I'm not planning on stopping. Um, but I went to this women's leadership conference uh, about a year and a half after I started it. And at the end of this conference, you're supposed to make an action plan. And my whole action plan was really to make the oodles of doodles into more of a ministry. Um, so it was on that conference that the Lord just kind of opened my eyes of this is more than just me practicing lettering, but that he's using it to speak to other people through beauty, through art, but also um, just me being vulnerable in my own prayer life of where I'm at and where my experience with God is and my relationship, the ups and the downs <laughs> and all of that. Um, so it's really probably maybe an, a year and a half into it. That was 2016. So now that it's been four years, um, of it's just strictly been a side thing. Cause I have a full-time job and I have a ministry that I do. And, um, now just praying through taking a next step into making this more of a business and more, um, of a ministry. I call it ministry on purpose <laughs> instead of, kind of accidentally just like ran into it, but now it's more on purpose um, that the Lord can use to do whatever he wants. So I'm, thinking, I'm dreaming of products. I'm dreaming of like things. Really, I just want to teach people how to pray because that's what I do. So oh, I love that. Yeah. So there's, so there's things that um, I've really been dreaming about and praying about wanting to do that I think the Lord's inviting me into. So I think before last year, people would always say, dream with God and like, you know, let God guide you on stuff. And I never really knew what that meant for me until really in prayer when I was just thinking about future and thinking about where God was leading me next. Um, these ideas of like, what if you did this? Or what if you looked at doing something like this where I'm like, that would have never entered my mind mm -hmm. before this. So I knew okay, Lord, you're like stirring something within me to do and to put on and to create um, that it just gets me so excited and more uh, energized and to wake up in the morning and be like, Jesus, like I get to live this life with you and, I, and you're leading it. I'm so excited where we're going next. But it's also really exciting of just what God can do. I'm sure you talk about this all, all the time, like with a, just a simple yes. Yes. What, God can do with something as simple as doodling or um, whatever people's gifts and talents are. It's so evident in your ministry. And I love your choice of word there that even though it started as, you know, um, New Year's resolution, it's now a ministry. And I think yeah. that's the way God really works in our lives is if you kind of authentically answer God in the little ways he'll you mm -hmm. know then show up in bigger ways and that's kind of the beauty of this yeah yeah perform. exactly and you don't need that's what I tell young people all the time um some youth minister so I work with a lot of youth and I tell people that all the time is like you just need to what is God asking you in during this day and just say yes to that. And whether that's to love whoever's in front of you, to do your schoolwork well, to be all in with your family, whatever that is, just keep doing that and build up that what it means to say yes so that when bigger things come, it's not as scary. Because mm -hmm. you know he's been faithful this whole time that you've said yes, um, and you know he'll continue to be faithful. So when the things get bigger and bigger and bigger, then it's like, oh yeah, this is like nothing. Like, of course, Jesus, you're gonna take care of this. Um, and that everyone is called to do that, whether you're called to change the entire world or just the world that you live in and the people that surround you right now. Yeah. Just um, just your little corner. 
<laughs> just in your little corner of the world. Exactly. Oh, I full love it. Circle, full circle. Little circle. circle. <laughs> yeah. Full way to go, Louisa. That was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Okay, so I finished my florals and my... So I added... <laughs> I kind of exploded. Wow. But, so I added another one. And then I. it's just kind of like what you feel in the moment of, okay, I'm going to add another another make sure it gets on there um kind of thing to fill it up and it looks crazy and and like a mess but it all kind of works together so we're making prayer cards um and this could again for the viewers watching this could be for your family member your friend a stranger you see you know in the grocery counter next to you whomever um, but for you, Allie, if you were to give your, you know, 20 year old or 25 year old self a prayer card, um, what would that card say? Ooh, it would probably say Jesus is worth it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it would say like, keep going, like Jesus is worth it or something like that, like something to the effect of. You know, when you're in your 20s and you're just figuring out how to life and you're figuring out like you're not necessarily with your parents anymore. Maybe you're in college, out of college, just starting adulthood and all of that. And mm -hmm. a lot of um, maybe the ground under the, underneath your feet is shifting a lot and it feels really unstable and unsteady. Um, kind of sometimes the first thing to go out the window is faith. I think yeah. I talk with a lot of young adults and, um, they're just trying to figure out their life. And the last pa place they usually go to is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, cause you might've had an experience with God. You might not have wherever you're coming from. So I would say like Jesus is worth it. Like he's worth yeah. the lonely nights because you choose not to do things that your friends want to do. And he's worth the the pain and the loneliness and um and when i say pain i mean um just kind of sometimes choosing to love jesus there are going to be lonely nights because not everyone does and it kind of sets you apart and you can be mocked and you can be whatever but jesus is worth it like yes, yes. that's what i say is living life with jesus i, I just turned 30 Woo! Which is crazy to me i know <laughs> I know. I'm like, I made it. Yes. Um, here we go. Thirties. Let's go. Um, and when I look back at my life, like I just see the Lord saved me from a lot of heartache and a lot of, um, just hurt and pain, um, with hindsight, just because I chose, I kept choosing him. I could have not, I could have been like, forget all this. I'm going to do what I want and whatever feels good, whatever in the moment. But I knew like, no, Jesus is worth it. And so, um, it really, I don't have a lot of regret. I don't have a lot of um, just pain in my life. I have different kind of, you know, everyone has pain, but it's just different in, in looking back in my 20s of all the things I could avoid. So that's what I'd say. Jesus is so worth it. He's so worth it. That's what I would say. I love that. I love that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, so going back to our uh, prayer card here, where are you at with um, your doodles? Okay, so I finished mine. So there's that one. Did you finish yours? Oh, yes. Mine is kind of <laughs> a lot simpler there. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. that. That's beautiful. And the cool thing is, this is what I tell people too, is that if you keep practicing every single day, that's what's so cool is that I can look back on my Instagram from when I first started five years ago, and I thought I was the best thing and. I'd just say I've grown since then. <laughs> so if you do something every day, you're going to get better at it. So most people are like, I'm not even going to start because I don't even like, I'm not good, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, just start today. And then another day, next tomorrow, do another one and another one, another one, if you want to, and you'll get better and better and better. So I love that. And you know, that's the same. I love that you're atta you attach kind of this um, action with prayer. Cause then as you're getting better in your calligraphy and your doodling, so is your prayer life. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, and some, so many people, they like want to pray, but they don't know how to start yeah. or where to go, or it's super intimidating, or you think you have to do it a certain way. And so um, that's why I usually tell them, a do, if you journal or write it down, 
Um, this is something that can help you just read scripture. Just If you just read scripture the whole time and just read the gospels and what is God speaking to you and writing that out and then doodling it, that, woo, do that every day, for at least 10 minutes a day. Just start there and just see how different your day is. It, it's like, it's so easy, but it's so, um, it's still challenging to like actually get up and do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I learned so much about being a daughter and trusting, entrusting my plans to the Lord through doodling. Who would have thought? <laughs> yes. See, yeah. and now I'm so excited to see how you grow from this because you're going to practice and it's going to be so good. <laughs> wow. And you're yes. going to have little note cards everywhere and it's going to be great. Let's show, let's show our uh, phone, phone cameras here. Our creations. To the viewers watching us, if you doodle along, if you listen with us, thank you so, so much. Um, feel free to let us know on our social media if you uh, created you know, whether that's daughter or if you prayed with a Bible verse and just, you know, translated that into writing, please, please let us know on our Instagram at salt and light TV. Um, oh, by the way, Allie, how can people follow you and find you on the interweb? Um, yeah, so you can follow me at the oodles of doodles. I'm mainly on Instagram. Um, that's where it all started, but I have a website, alliehoffman.co. Um, that has all my links, but really Instagram, that's the biggest place where I'm at. So check me out there. Fabulous. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Allie, for this amazing conversation about your ministry, about resting and beginning again, about being a daughter and all that good stuff in, um, yeah, just like through doodling and through art and yeah, just reaching out to people through beauty um, yeah, I, I wish you all the best and I can't wait to see where your platform is taking you. I know you have amazing plans with Jesus. So yes, everyone, please, please, um, follow this lovely lady here. She's going to do wonderful, wonderful things. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to see. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, let's go. Let's, let's begin. I love that. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, have a good day, Allie and God bless. Thanks, bye. We'll see you later. And that's our show. Thank you so much for joining me and Allie as we talked about how our prayers can turn into our passions. For her, what started as a simple yes to a New Year's resolution slowly became what is now the oodles of doodles. So whether it's a word or a passage from scripture, our prayer cards should always lead us closer to the Father. If you've never made one before, definitely give it a try because it's kind of like keeping a souvenir from your conversation with the Lord. Plus, you can, you know, hang them up on the wall like Ali did or give it to a family or a friend. I'd love to know what you do with this. Until next time, see you on In All Things.